today we will see about van de graaff generator so first of all what is this it's a device which is used to produce electric potential of the order of millions volts so this generator is a device van de graaff generator is a device or is a machine this is a machine that can build up very high voltages of the order of few millions volt this is a machine that can build up very high voltages of the order of few million volts and why this high voltage is required so this high voltage is actually used to accelerate charge particles like we can use it to accelerate electrons protons or any ions you know which are required uh, uh, so this can be accelerated into to high energies which are actually required for some of the experiments when we study about the structure of matter we may need the high acceleration of these charged particles like electrons protons and ions so in the those cases to accelerate these ions into very high energies we can use this machine because this machine can build up very high voltage these voltages are required to accelerate ions or protons electrons to high energies we can write here the large the resulting large electric fields are used to accelerate charged particles the resulting large electric fields large electric fields are used to accelerate accelerate charged particles so these charged particles can be electrons or protons or ions so what is the working principle principle this machine works on the principle that when electric charge is given to interior of a conductor that means when electric charge is introduced inside the conductor then this charge goes on to the outer surface of the conductor i'll write here it works on the principle that when electric charge is given to the is given to the interior of a conductor then it goes on to the outer surface of conductor then it goes on to the outer surface of the conductor of the conductor irrespective of the charge already stored on it irrespective of the charge already stored on it so if you take a metal conductor 
and you know uh, if you introduce charge inside the conductor the card charge distributes itself over the surface irrespective of what charge was existing on the conductor so in this way you can build a very high voltage now let us see the construction of this generator so here is a schematic diagram so this vanity graph generator consists of a large spherical conducting shell so this is a large conducting shell here i have marked it as dome so this is the large spherical conducting shell and there is a moving belt and using this moving belt we can transfer positive charge from below uh, the small sphere to this larger sphere so by means of this suitable belt and this metal brushes the charge is continuously transferred to the shell and a large potential difference is built up in this spherical shell so a large spherical conducting shell is supported at some height yeah, above the ground so this is supported this spherical shell is supported by an insulating column above the ground and a long belt which is generally made up of you know uh, rubber or silk is wound around two pulleys so one pulley is here another one is at the bottom S this pulley is at the ground level and another pulley is at the center of this large spherical shell and this belt is continuously kept moving using a motor the motor drives these two pulleys and when the motor drives the pulley the belt continuously moves and the belt continuously carries the positive charge sprayed on it by this metal brush the metal brush is used to spray the positive charge onto this pulley and the belt carries those positive charge from ground to the top this positive charge is transferred to the shell and this positive charge then it is spread out uniformly on the outer surface in this way a high voltage difference of of the order of you know million volts is developed let me tell you the working of this generator once again a large spherical shell so this is the large spherical shell dome i'll write here large spherical conducting shell is supported large spherical shell is supported at a height several meters above the ground on insulating column a large spherical shell is supported at a height several meters above the ground above the ground on an insulating column this is that insulating column now what so next is a long belt which is generally made up of rubber or silk is wound 
around two pulleys so there are two pulleys and a large belt is wound around two pulleys the belt is continuously kept moving the belt is moved using this motor the motor drives the pulleys and hence the belt continuously moves and this continuous movement of the belt carries positive charge which is sprayed on the belt using the metal brush and it carries positive charge continuously to the spherical shell larger spherical shell so this positive charge which is transferred to this upper pulley is transferred to the shell using another metal brush so there are two metal brushes here the first one sprays the positive charge onto the belt the belt carries the positive charge to the top pulley and from this pulley the positive charges are transferred to the outer shell using the metal brush another metal brush the positive charge is transferred to the shell and this positive charge spreads over its surface uniformly on the outer surface so in this way a very high voltage differences of the order of uh, say around 6 or 8 million volts is built up and this the resulting high electric field can be used to accelerate the charge particles like protons electrons or ions so this is the working principle and the schematic construction of of a van de graaff generator so it is a device used to build up very high voltage of the order of billions of volts